Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's your host with the most, Paul Cantu, the thrift god. But today I'm not hitting thrifts. I am pillaging estate sales in the hopes of finding some grails. Paul, you've got mail. I, 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 I got, got the like internet that. going nuts. So what is up? What is good, guys? It is bright. It is early. And like I mentioned, it is time to hit some estate sales today. I'm done with my car series. So now I'm just excited to get back in these trenches and find a ton of loot. With that being said, I have some really cool announcements and some things that have taken place. Number one, I created a brand new website. It is still thriftheavenvintage.com. But guys, the vintage website is so much easier to navigate now. We have different collections, sections. You can sort by price. You also can filter from newest to oldest. We have t-shirts, sweaters, a bunch of stuff. It's just so much easier on mobile. It's so much easier on your desktop. And also you can check out with Apple Pay, Google Pay. We just take so many different payment forms now. It definitely is worth your while. If you see anything you want in this video or just looking for some vintage steals and deals to check out, thriftheavenvintage.com. I also do have a section with items that are under 15 bucks. So go ahead and check that out for the holiday season. Also, real quick on my whatnot, I'm doing my one year anniversary the day this video drops. So make sure you guys tune in at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time every single Tuesday. I sell items on whatnot and you guys can get $15 off if you create an account with the link in the video description. And that's $15 off your first purchase. So say there's a t-shirt that is 15 bucks, Congrats, all you gotta pay for is shipping on your first purchase from me or anybody on the app. And also, real quick before Christmas, I'm thinking about selling my entire personal collection on Whatnot. So if you guys would like that to happen, bookmark the show. If it gets to 500 bookmarks, I will run that live. If not, we'll just keep delaying it until it gets there. But with that being said, now it's time to mount up, hop in my brand new whip, and hit these estate sales. I am very excited. Estate sales are probably one of the most fun ways I personally find to get items just because you're going into a time capsule into someone else's world, into their home. And uh, it's good that items get a second life at these spots. So without further ado, let's get it. Okay guys, we are in the mix and this house was specialized in hunting gear and a ton of Kawasaki, Yamaha and Fox racing merch. So I ran my dirty little fingers through the racks. Didn't see much until I came across the t-shirt section. I hit a vintage jackpot, the jackpot. hometown heater, Houston Oilers 93T. Yes, Dude, Lord. This Oilers is sick. So I went ahead and I purchased that. Then I found some more bangers. Ooh, they got the Newcastle 16. Gibson. All right, let's check out these hats. See if there's anything. Nordum. <laughs> Baylor. Three and three. All right, a couple of things. You need to grab a 22 or something. What are those all BB guns out there? Oh, <laughs> you guys just check out the Skratas. When your ops pull up, get them with the BB gun, work your way up to the Japanese four ball, whatever that's called. Couple swords, Civil War era. Well, I do the Jeez. They got the old ET. Damn, 30 bucks. They got the old Miss Piggy. Yeah. What jacket is that? What brand is that? Yamaha. Yamaha? Dang, that's a sick one. That's, that like, that's like that Polar Express. Trippy. They got all the minks, all the fur. Arnold Palmer, the legend. Gloves and helmets, man. This guy definitely was a rider. Pause that. Dang. The Texas Motor Speedway pillows. How can I say you can't accessorize? With the handles, your booty in style. <laughs> That's cool though. Some old Christmas decor. Ooh, University of Texas. Let's go. But yeah, this is looking like maybe one of the only promising t-shirts. I mean, the soccer jersey is nice. Oh look, there's another soccer jersey, Celtic. High-vis, 
Oh, there's a couple more. I'm not gonna get this one. There's also the Chelsea. Chelsea. Dang, the Hazard is clean. Size medium. Some ancient weaponry right here. License plates are cool. I like the yellow one. All right, honey, so your total is $53.50. All right, guys, we're out of there, man. It is a cold day. Got a cool license plate. I'm gonna throw this up in the studio. I got two soccer jerseys. I had to leave one because they're charging $12 per jersey. I thought I could slide off with the discount on the other two because they're just folded up in a corner. Evidently not. Shame. Shame. Then I got the Oilers and uh, two hats. And that's pretty much it. Not too shabby for daddy. Y'all know what time it is. Let's proceed on to another one. Round two. Fight. So this second house really intrigued me because I saw a ton of burnt orange in the pictures, right. which definitely is up my alley. University of Texas. Camo pins. Another little long horn. Is this is a reversible pro play. What's up, bro? Hey, what up, dude? Dang, this guy had a bunch of long horn stuff. Yeah. Ease, man. That's why I came here. <laughs> There's some of the other closet too, but it's probably a lot of the same. Yeah, I pretty much camped out here last night. Then you were out here all night? Yeah, till 12. Dude. From midnight? Yeah. I mean, I got Jeez. a van, dude, so I just sleep in my van. Oh, okay. You got everything, bro? Yeah. Man, this guy was a Texas fan. I respect it. And that's what brought me over here was I just saw the burnt orange and I was like, man, I got to pull up to the sale. I like that center swoosh, Isaac. So the Rolls Bowl center swoosh is pretty cool too. Then I discovered a huge stack of real tree camo, baby. All right. I don't know. I'm trying to make sure they're at least a reasonable size. 38. Not bad. Too short for you. What, what were they in length? 30s. 30s. I love these pants. They're definitely a little bit too big for me though. The 38's not a bad size. 35 for the deer fur. Wow, this is cool. A bunch of really awesome toys. Yeah, these are my, my mom's house. These were my sons. When he was really? Her, yeah. These were your sons? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, a lot of these are kind of from my childhood. Like, I used to play with this at my grandma's oh, house. Yeah. I had this one. How old's your son? 28. So we're about the exact same age. Wow. This house is pretty cool. Got the old desk. God, there's so much awesome stuff. Like, even this drink Coca-Cola mini fridge is awesome. All the old bottles. More old license plates. $50. Oh, it's a matching pair. That's why. You could throw them on your car right now. Look at the old phone. 35 bucks. Then I revisited the master bedroom and dug into a giant burnt orange pile of t-shirts. And there are a couple of pretty all right ones. Okay, pretty all right. This is a sweet Longhorn shirt. Oh, these Texas sweatpants are mandatory. This jacket is pretty sweet. It's a Lee Storm Rider. This thing is old, too. I'm probably going to grab this one. We got to see how much it is, though. Blanket line. Then the little real tree pullover. That's cool. And the t-shirts are cool. Five, six, seven shirts. And then I don't know how much these were. They were in the camo closet. Uh, the jackets are eight. Okay. That's a jacket. Two. That's a long three. sleeve shirt. That's a shirt. Oh, that's a. Uh, that's three then. Okay. Mm. Just take two two of the pants off. All right. And that'll be one ten. We're good. Okay. Oh, I got 105. That's fine. Okay. 105 is good. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we're out of there, man. Huge handful of stuff. A ton of pants. Hold on, I gotta unload these things. All right, guys. So I did my best to lay everything out. This is the hardest piece I got 
Storm Rider by Lee, made in USA. You guys see all the Lee riders, the zigzag embroidery. This does almost feel like a salvage, bruh. Like this denim is stiff, blanket lined, Texas tees. This is my favorite. Kind of hard to see because of the nice uh, scattered shade we have going on. Nike center swoosh, Texas reversible, pro player, eight bucks, eight bucks, eight bucks, three, 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 three. And the jeans were kind of high priced at 10 each. But when I got a deal on this, I'll pay up a little bit more on the pants. And of course, I prioritize the cool camo, the dead stock, and some of the fades. So hell yeah, man. Smacked up in there. This piece is the grail, probably, of all the sales. So yeah, hopefully I get 125 bucks for this jacket. But honestly, even if I sell this jacket for $100, considering it is either 60s or 70s, that is a crazy come up, seeing as I only dropped eight bucks all up on it. Now, my other three top finds are from the first to say sale, 1993 Houston Oilers. I own this t-shirt and this one looks like it'll fit me better. So that is lovely. Some bloat coal with the Newcastle and then the Chelsea soccer jersey. And then, believe it or not, I stopped at a third estate sale. It was a little awkward to record in there only because I walked up and I thought it was closed, but it was open. But I found three articles of clothing. I found an old school Nike jacket. It was like the 2000s, early 2000s era. And then two big dog crew necks with attitude. Check it out. I like to help you, but I just can't fix stupid. <laughs> That's the sound of nobody caring what you think. So attitudes on the sweaters. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, if y'all want anything, check out my website. We are adding new items by the day. So just check in. It will be fully stocked, most likely by the end of the week. And tonight, after this video is live, I am going live on whatnot for a good hour and a half of extra content. We have everything lined up for that show. And I am telling you guys, we have a rack that is stuffed with over a hundred items for my one year anniversary on the platform. And then of course, bookmark my personal collection show. This is a preview of some of the things that are going to be live and direct on the show. A couple of crazy pieces I had to incorporate in the video just to tantalize y'all's senses, okay? So yeah, my username is Thrift God on whatnot. Thriftheavenvintage.com is my website. My Instagrams are in the video description. Anywhere else you guys want to reach me, beat me is in the video description as well. And I'm happy you guys are still along with me riding and dying for some vintage heat. I love estate sales, man. They're so much fun. But until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream. I will catch y'all soon. Peace. I love you. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life. I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get